Good morning. Uh, we're here today with Ali Orr, uh, owner of Nearly New Cashmere & Co. Good morning, Ali. Hi, hi. Nice to see you. Hi. Uh, can you please introduce yourselves and the milestones you reached and achieved to start the company? Okay. I um, I run a small company, a small business called Nearly New Cashmere, and we um, sell secondhand recycled 100% cashmere garments. Now, I've been running it about seven years. Um, I started really because um, I hate waste. I hate throwing things away. And when my children were growing up, they would gr sort of grow out of clothes and I couldn't bear to just waste them. And I started trading on eBay. And that's how it all began, really, was buying and selling an early adopter of eBay. And then um, as I went on, I discovered a source of secondhand specifically and I thought actually maybe there is a business just selling a luxury product second hand so that's where it all began um, it's grown from a little um, sort of cottage industry from home we now have two premises and I have a team of about seven or eight full timers and a lot of people that work part time for me in the community um, because it's quite labour intensive we buy cashmere in a fairly poor condition sometimes it needs to be washed checked made to look beautiful again and then listed online or sold at one of our events fantastic so we're based in the orchard dales fantastic amazing um can you please uh, i went through your website and uh, there's a mention of uh, the process can you please mm -hmm. tell us more about the process well, the process, what we refer to as the process, is the making um, beautiful again, the cashmere. Um, I, every item is an individual item and it's all second hand. People often think I'm selling end of lines or um, things that shops haven't sold or factories, but it isn't. It's what you call post-consumer waste. It's already been consumed once and it is being discarded. So it, it comes in in a variety of conditions so it has to be washed checked sometimes there are stains that need to be removed sometimes it's a bit bobbly and um it, we might need to replace some buttons there might be a stitch here or there and if it's not in good enough condition to sell as a whole jumper we'll make it into gloves or hats or other accessories so that nothing is wasted and um, so that's the process um that we go through Fantastic. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a very ethical and noble aspect. Um, can you please tell, tell us more or discuss the importance of uh, a reconditioning clothes business? I think it's absolutely essential. If the, the clothing industry is one of the worst offenders for the overconsumption, um, overconsumption at the cost, usually, of somebody somewhere, you cannot buy... Well, you can buy a top a pair of jeans for less than ten pounds, but it isn't. A, it's not without cost to somebody, and I think we need to be much more aware of where our clothes are coming from. Have there already been things that have been manufactured that we still use, and we need to start um, just considering our consumption generally. But really, um, what we're all about is consumption where clothing is concerned. Um, there's just terrible, terrible waste um, in the clothing industry, and a lot of it ends up in landfill. And they're perfectly good things that can be made to look good again. And some of them haven't even made it to a consumer in the first place. Where I'm buying, I see clothes, mountains of clothes with labels still on. They've either been somebody's mistake buy or, a, a, um, you know, the shops have just cleared them out at the end of a season. Um, so I feel passionately that about the whole um, reducing our consumption where clothing is concerned. Fantastic. Um, so you mentioned about uh, that you're very active uh, with fairs and events. So which are the most important ones and upcoming ones where we will be able to see you and potentially meet you face to face? Well, we um, well we have a physical store in uh, in Yorkshire, um, in a little town called Massam, and then we travel around the country um, and Ireland actually to different events. I'm in London this week. I'm down in Chelsea at the Chelsea Physic Garden. We um, are there for four days, um, closely followed by um, a week in Dublin over in the RDS in Dublin. We're just coming to the end of our Christmas fair season, but then through the summer, we do attend quite a lot of um, outdoor events like horse trials, 
And in um, March this year, we're going on tour. We're, we're creating our own events around the country and going to see some of our customers it's, uh, by popping up in different locations all around the UK. Okay, fantastic. Looks like you're going to be quite busy. Yes, always busy. <laughs> it's far better than the alternative. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Um, it's uh, being busy is far better than uh, yes uh, than the alternative. Yes, definitely. If I can't sell cashmere at this time of year, you know, I'm not onto a good thing, am I? Absolutely. So, uh, where do you see uh, nearly new cashmere co in the next uh, couple of years? The, the business has been um, has grown massively over the last couple of years. COVID, although the backdrop of it was terrible, um, was actually good for our business in that it gave us the time and the space to establish a presence online, which was a challenge beyond measure because every item is an individual item. It's very different from selling a range where you you know, can do some beautiful photographs and attach, you know, a, a stock inventory of a thousand pieces to that one image. Everything has to be individually listed and photographed. So COVID gave us time to do that. And so we've become more and more established online and I only see that continuing. I want to become a, a well-known destination. So if you're wanting to buy yourself a cashmere jumper, you would go and see whether Nearly New Cashmere has it before you go to buy new. Um, so that we're trying to make buying secondhand easy and accessible. Um, and that's really why I've just only ever stuck to cashmere because we can curate this one product and I know whatever size you are, whatever color you like, you will more than likely find what you want on our website. Um, and it's all organized like um, shopping on any sort of website, you can narrow by size, narrow by style, narrow by colour. And I just want to become better known and um, the business to grow um, and sort of become more mainstream, just to have a check out with the secondhand people before you buy new. That's, that's our aim. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for today, Ali. Uh, it's been a pleasure to thank meet you. Much. And if you want to know more, please go on the website of Nearly New Cashmere Co. Thank you very much. Thank you.